Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome to Just Ironic. As you may have seen by the title of this video, today I'll be showing you my oldest pieces in my closet. I think this is really interesting because usually what we see on YouTube is new hauls from fast fashion brands. So I just wanted to show you my oldest pieces. I don't think a lot of people will ever show this. So I thought it'd be personally interesting to do this video. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And let's get on to the video. So the first item that I want to show you guys is my sweater that I've had since my sophomore year of high school. I got it from a thrift store and I really liked it because it has like animal prints. I really like monochromatic sweaters with animal prints on it and I love sweaters and I didn't realize I was going to have this sweater for such a long time. Roughly now if it was from my sophomore high school and I'm 23 now, that's 15 at 23, that's 769,820. <coughs> eight years so I've had this sweater for eight years now I just bought a second hand it was like a dollar I don't usually buy clothing that's more than um, two or three dollars at the thrift store and if you guys are curious about the brand it's called cotton country I have no idea where this brand is from or the quality of it and it doesn't really quite fit me it's kind of small um, it's a little bit tight Oh, preparing to go to school was like getting ready for extended deep sea diving. But I've always paired these with black skinny jeans. I think it's really great for like any event. But yeah, it's super cozy. I think I'm going to rewear this again. I have a lot of sweaters, but I really appreciate how I still have this one stored in the back of my closet. Um, and it's eight years old, so I completely forgot it existed. But when I was looking through, I found it. And so many memories came back to me about when I would used to wear this sweater because it was my favorite sweater. I'm definitely not getting rid of any of the items that I'm showing you guys because I've had it for so long and the memories are invaluable. So the second item I have is this vintage coach bag that cost me about five dollars and I got it from a local Goodwill. And these usually retail for like sixty or seventy dollars, somewhere around there and on eBay. But this one's definitely vintage. I think it's from the 90s, I'm not quite sure. And I've actually had this bag since high school, since when I was 14, and now I'm 23. So that's almost 10 years because I will be turning 24 in March. So this bag is almost 10 years old. And given that I bought it secondhand, obviously it has more years on it. So I think this bag is at least 30 years old if it was from the 90s. How old do you think you are? 79. Higher. Higher. Seven. Higher. Eight. That's it. Ninety-eight. You're eight. I really love this handle and I use it as a crossbody bag. And it's in really great condition. It's just sometimes it gets scratched if you use it too much and I'm really bad at cleaning my bags. So it does have a little bit of stains, but otherwise I use it a lot in high school and it's been in pristine condition, so I just haven't used it because I haven't really gone out anywhere. But this is my go-to bag and I just love it. Now the third oldest thing I have in my closet is this other bag. It's this floral, sort of like hippie style bag. I got this my sophomore year of high school and I didn't really use it until I was in college. So it's been in my closet for a long time. I bought this at a thrift store as well. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. It's kind of like bangled up. It's not in the perfect condition when I bought it. The closure of the front bag didn't work. So I've always kind of left it open and now this thing is <laughs> dangling all, all on top. So I usually wear it as a crossbody and I just kind of wear it where the opening is against my body so it doesn't open. So I definitely have to fix that but it's really practical because there's a zipper in the front that I store a lot of knickknacks in even though it's kind of like tearing right here. I have to fix that. And the interesting thing about me taking care of this bag is that I haven't washed it. Um, I've been careful using it. I don't try to go into like any dirty places and I try to take care of my stuff. So I haven't needed to wash this within the eight, seven years that I've had it. I just kind of store it away once I'm home or I make sure where I place it when I'm out and about. So I haven't washed it even though I can, but with these materials I usually hand wash it so it can preserve the quality because if you put it in a washing machine, it's just going to get destroyed and I don't want that to happen. So 
I just kind of like look at the material and see how I can take care of it in that way. So my fourth item is a scarf that I got from Walmart. Actually, this is the only thing I got. Uh, I look, I tried to look, but I'm blind, so it doesn't, I can't see. So. No, it's a it's new so far. It's a flower scarf. That cost me about $5 that I usually just wear like this, draped over my shoulders. But what I really love about this scarf is that it's really warm and it really goes well with my skin for some reason. I'm very pale and I usually wear this with a black coat too when it's winter. Um, and it really goes great with like golden earrings, but I've had this since my um, senior year of high school. So if that was like in 2015-ish, or 2014, it's probably six years old now. And I've watched it a lot throughout my high school years because I used it a lot during my senior year of high school. And then I used it a lot too within like my freshman and sophomore year of college. And I kind of left it behind for the last couple of years. And I had originally bought this for a birthday gift, but I just fell in love with it. Um, and I ended up getting something else for my friend's birthday. So this item is, I think, uh, one of the oldest that I have. They are also nine years. If you haven't noticed, I keep a lot of things that I really like. And these jeans have just been stored away for quite a while now. But originally these jeans were secondhand and they were not skinny jeans. My mom actually bought these for me. So what I ended up doing is making these as skinny jeans. So I, I turned them inside out and I would kind of put them on and grab the sides of where I wanted the skinny jean to fit me. And I would mark it with a pencil and then I would just sew where that pencil mark was at. And I sewed it multiple times. You can tell where I sewed it. Um, I sewed it all along the edge here and then I folded them over and I stitched it at the bottom so you couldn't tell that I had gone in and stitched it. These were too big on the legs, on the thighs, and on the ankles so I had to alter everything. And fun fact, the skinny jeans were not originally with holes. These just turned into holes because I would pick at the knees and they just turned into ripped skinny jeans. I've had these for 10 years now and they were secondhand. You can say these are more than 10 years old. I'll definitely be keeping these for quite a bit. So the second to last thing that I have are these pajamas. These are actually the first pajamas I ever made in my life. They're handmade. I made them during my sophomore year of high school. And these are actually the first thing that I ever sewed by myself. When I was in high school, I actually wanted to be a fashion designer. And I actually did end up going to university my freshman year with a double major in fashion design and fashion merchandising. But I later changed that to fashion merchandising and business administration, which are now my bachelor's. So these are actually eight years old and I really love the stretch component to it. It has uh, the stretching capability here and I was so proud of that when I first made them. And it was a really simple design and it really made me appreciate how to make clothing. It even has pockets which I was super proud of. Um, and I ended up making a pair for my dad. So this is awesome for me and it's a really great reminder about where I used to be in life and what I used to want to do um, and they're super comfy and the material is super, super durable and I can wash these as many times as I want in the washing machine. But the only thing about this that I don't kind of like is that I wasn't able to match up the circles at the seam so that's something that <laughs> kind of irritates me. But that's like professional level and that's just something that's, you know, personal to me. But it doesn't really matter, they're usable um, and they're just a great reminder. So the last item I want to show you guys are these Converse. They're these banged up old Converse that I've washed for like years and years. I think I've washed these more than 15 times, honestly. I got them my freshman year of high school, so again, these are like, if I was 14, they're going to 10 years and they're a size 9 and they 
fit me perfectly. They're molded to my feet actually. And these have been with me in so many events in my life. I can't even remember all of them, but they've been a staple in a lot of my wardrobe. They are Star Converse's. They have the star here. Um, and they cost me about $40. I bought them new actually. I've wanted Converse my whole life. Basically, when I got these, I was so hyped. And those soles are even worn. You can see how worn they are by the soles. Like, look at that. That's so worn out. That's crazy to me. Um, and yeah, they're super comfortable on me because I've worn them so many times. And if I ever have to go somewhere where I know I'm going to walk a lot and don't mind getting my shoes dirty, these are really a great option for me. The only thing is, is that they're getting holes at the side right here and they're breaking at the side as well right here. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate but yeah oh there's another hole right here as well <laughs> right there i just need to wash them i haven't worn them in a long while um but they're a great staple and until they completely rip i'll get rid of them i don't know if i'll donate them or just throw them away i'm not quite sure but yeah i love these shoes and like I said, I have so many memories to them that really makes these sentimental and special. And even if they are broken and dingy, I will keep them for as long as I can. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I usually make videos around sustainable fashion, so if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, please leave that in the comment section. And hopefully you stay safe. Take care, guys. Bye.